Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Tuesday, 14th of July of the week of Pentecost 6. Two readings and a prayer. The first from John Henry Newman, 1801 to 1890, from Tolerance of Religious Error. Liberality is always popular, whatever be the subject of it, and excites a glow of pleasure and self-appropriation in the giver, even though it involves no sacrifice, nay, is exercised upon the property of others. Thus, in the sacred providence of religion, men are led on to give up gospel truths, to consent to open the church to the various denominations of error which abound among us, or to alter our services so as to please the scoffer, the lukewarm, or the vicious. To be kind is their one principle of action, and when they find offense taken at the church's creed, they begin to think how they may modify or curtail it under the same sort of feeling as would lead them to be generous in the money transaction or to accommodate another at the price of personal inconvenience, not understanding that their religious privileges are a trust to be handed on to posterity, a sacred property entailed upon the Christian family and their own in enjoyment rather than in possession. They act the spendthrift and are lavish of the goods of others. And from Orthodoxy, Gilbert Keith Chesterton, 1874-1936. It is obvious that tradition is only democracy extended through time. It is trusting to a consensus of common human voices rather than to some isolated or arbitrary record. Tradition refuses to submit to the small and arrogant oligarchy of those who merely happen to be walking about. All Democrats object to men being disqualified by the accident of birth. Tradition objects to their being disqualified by the accident of death. Democracy tells us not to neglect a good man's opinion, even if he is our servant. Tradition asks us not to neglect a good man's opinion even if he is our father. The prayer, Bishop Stephen Charleston. So much of spiritual life is about memories, special people, special events, special wisdom. We are taught these things and remember them in a sacred way. Learning from these memories is part of our task as a spiritual people. We embody the lessons we have learned, and one of our most important jobs in life is to pass these memories on, to tell younger generations our story so they will remember too. The content of our memories will be different, but the process of honoring and perpetuating them is very much the same. Let us respect the holy memory in one another and respect the stories that mean so much they have become a way of life for us all. We believe because we remember. We remember because we believe. Amen.